Okay, starting off turn number eight with Arjun, and he's probably a little bit discombobulated because Alyssa was just attacking him, but uh, he probably understands the weirdness of what goes on in this place and doesn't have any ill will towards Alyssa. Now, hmm. So, what to do, though, because neither one of us are close to a t an unexplored edge. I think we're probably going to just have Arjun move twice. Well, uh, well, let's see what we can do here. So, he has a speed of 5. So, let's see how far he can get. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Perfect. Perfect. That'll, that'll work. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That'll work. So Arjun's going to come down here, and he can still attack, because he has Trapping Strike. Choose one monster within one tile of you, and that zombie is within one tile. Place the monster adjacent to your hero and attack it. So he's going to basically pull this thing in somehow, and then attack it with a plus 8. Zombie's only got a plus, uh, an 11 AC, so as long as he's got a 3 or higher, he's going to hit. And I've got a 14, so no problem. So zombie goes down. So we'll take the zombie card, put it into this experience pile, so we can start making an experience pile of 5 experience here. And the zombie goes down. I think that's the second zombie, so that means there's one more before we get into any shuffling. But let's start to update. So Arjun, no, he he moved and then attacked. He killed, so he gets a treasure card. And we're just going to have him draw it because he doesn't have anything where he can gain experience like Alyssa does. Or gain HP, rather. Oh, well, now he does. No, this is different. This is the potion. Oh, you know what? I forgot to use this. I was going to use that. Dang it. I just got busy with other stuff and forgot to use it. Oh, well, I'm not going to go back on that. I'm not going to be like, oh, I said it last turn, so I really used it. It's just I forgot, so no good. But what we'll do instead is we'll flip this power up. I'd I kind of like having this one available too anyway. But if I had used that, I probably would have flipped it up again with this. So what I'm going to do to remember this next time is I'm going to actually just put it right here next to him. Hopefully that forces me to see it next time. So, he will explore. So let's bring out the next tile, and this is going to be a black edge, a black triangle, rather. So let's put that down, and let's draw the monster for this tile. And it's going to be another zombie. So this is the last zombie before we shuffle. So let's bring a zombie token. Place it on the bone pile. And let's update. So we got a black tile, a zombie, none of that. And we have the forest encounter and zombie. All right, so let's see what kind of encounter we get. It's going to be an overrun. Each hero takes damage equal to the number of monsters he or she controls. We'll let that one go, because Alyssa doesn't have any monsters right now. Arjun only has one, so he's going to take one experience, uh, one HP for this, and if we canceled this, we would spend five experience points and take a hit point anyway, so it doesn't make any sense to cancel that. So that goes down. Arjun takes the HP, and we really have to remember next turn to uh, use that, that uh, unstoppable... So the zombie's going to activate, and uh, if it's uh, within a tile, it is, it's going to move adjacent and attack. So again, monsters move bone pile to bone pile, but in this case, it wouldn't make any sense because he wouldn't be adjacent. So we're going to put him here instead. And he's going to attack with that fist. He's going to get a plus five. So he just needs to roll... 11 or lower to miss. 14. So unfortunately he is going to hit. 
So that's uh, 5 and 14 is 19, so that is going to hit Arjun's AC. But there's only one monster on that tile, so it's just going to do one damage. But again, Arjun is pretty beat up, so... I, it would, I'm, I really hope I don't take another hit, because I will have killed myself by not using that. Um, Alright, so that's going to be the end of Arjun's turn, so now Alyssa is going to get a chance to go. Let's see, um, so Alyssa, if she can get to this tile, though, but that wouldn't work. Hmm, well, we'll see. She can move six. We want her to explore, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, but she can't... You can move through a hero, but you can't stop on the same tile. But, so she would have to move, she would have to make two moves to get over here. Um, all right, let's think. What can she do? Attack one and two. Well, she does have this, like, hit and run thing, right? Or, let's see. Attack one monster within two tiles of you. Basically, I just don't want her to waste her turn. Because I can move here. Let me see. How far can she, can she get to this tile? I don't think so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, she can. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if that's a legal move, though, because the rules say when you have a black, like, this is a wall, so obviously she can't move on it or through it, and I think the monster counts as a wall, and when you have a wall next to each other diagonally, you can't move through that spot. So... I really wish now that when I had brought the zombie up, I'd put him here. So, I, yeah. I think by the strictest strictest reading of the rules, moving from here to here is not legal. Because I think this square with that zombie there effectively acts like it is a black square wall, I think. One, two, three... Four. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. She could come down here. I mean, obviously she can come over here too and then explore with her scout, but that kind of separates the party and she doesn't get to attack or anything. I'm not super worried about her attacking the zombie, though, because that won't activate again until Arjun's turn. What, I, what it would be really nice, if she could move here, then she could use um, Hunter's Shot. and at least have a chance of killing the zombie, but I, I honestly, I don't believe that moving from this square through Arjun to that square, by the strictest reading of the rules, I don't think, I don't think that's legal. I'll show what I'm referring to. So, so here, this case, so you can move from like five to six is legal, but where that red thing is for C, you can't move in between two of the, like those, those two walls because it's, it's considered closed off. Um, and I, and I venture to guess that a monster since you can't move through the same square that a monster's on, so I would venture to guess that in this particular case, 
this is effectively a black square. That's what I'm going to go with um, because generally the the rules are that whenever it's bad, whenever whenever something could be beneficial to you, the rules are written the other way. <laughs> so she's just going to move twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then she has more movement left over. So she's just going to come over to this square and scout. And I, th I think I'm fine with that. She's going to scout up here. Okay, so she moved twice, so she gets no treasure. Um, she is exploring. So let's see what we get up here. I don't know if we're close to the laboratory. Oh, hey, we are. Okay. I'm shocked that we've made it this far after the way turn one and two went. I thought there was no way. So let me read what we do here. When a hero reveals the laboratory, do the following instead of drawing a monster. So we're at, so in Adventure 2, you still draw a monster like normal, but in this one you don't. So instead of drawing a monster card for the tile, find the clack villain card and place clack on the bone pile on the laboratory tile. Clack activates at the start of each player's villain phase. Okay, so we take clack and we put him on the bone pile. Okay, so... Instead of drawing a monster card, find the clack villain card and place clack on the bone pile. Okay, we did that. Clack activates, right, got it. Place clack's artifact token on the laboratory tile. So we take his token... Oh wait, this thing, right? Place the clack's artifact... Yeah, this thing. So we place this on here as well. Attacking Clack's artifact will destroy it. When attacking the artifact, treat the artifact as a monster. The artifact has an armor class of 15 and 5 hit points. The heroes win the adventure by defeating Clack and destroying his artifact. Okay, so let's think here. So that was a white tile. So Alyssa explored, she got a white tile. Um, technically there was no monster this time because uh, that was the end thing. There will be no encounter because that was a white tile. But now we have a villain, Clack. So Clack will now activate. So let's see what does Clack do. So, if Clack is on a tile with an unexplored edge, and he is, draw a tile from the bottom of the dungeon tile stack and place it adjacent to the unexplored edge. The active hero places a new monster on that tile. Okay, so I think I see what's going on. So Clack's probably going to try to run away from us and just keep us busy by getting more uh, dungeon tiles. And if this is a tr black triangle, we'll have an encounter. And then, okay, so it's not, but, and so we do get a monster, and it's going to be a rat swarm, not too bad. So we place the rat swarm down, and so she has a clack, she has a zombie, and a rat. So I think that's all Clack does for that turn. So if Clack is on a tile and he is, draw a tile from the back of the hero. Okay, yeah, that's it. So not too bad so far. Now, no wait, she doesn't have a zombie. That was a, uh, that zombie came out because because Arjun drew that zombie, so that's not her zombie. So it's the rats that go next. And the rats, if it's within one tile and it's not, otherwise it moves one tile closer. So again, normally they go bone pile to bone pile, but the rules say if the bone pile is already occupied, you just put it anywhere. So we'll just stick the rats there. 
Okay, so that's going to be the end of turn number eight. So we'll come back with turn number nine and see how this plays out.